talk lately about healing. So let's talk about that for just a little bit. And uh, what I have said is make sure that you heal yourself before you heal anyone else. Um, of course, I kind of cut to the chase and I want to go to a collective consciousness where everyone knows how to heal themselves. But everything is a process. So be sure and heal yourself first. Now, how do you heal yourself first? A lot of time going within, that's how you do it. And uh, I'm learning that over the last year. Because up until this last year, I really had not done any time helping other people to find an answer or to heal themselves on whatever level, in whatever area it is. And what I have found is that when I go to get the, the answers to a question, whenever I go to the other side, Whenever I reach out there, frequently my eyes dart off to the side, I think, whenever I do that. Whenever I do that, I raise my vibration very, very high. And I, I do it suddenly. And at the beginning of these, the first two or three months of these videos, it was really kicking me to the curb. It was really making me sick or I was having accidents, breaking toes and such, right? So what I've realized is when I do that, my vibration raises very very high very very fast but my physical body is still vibrating at the same level so when i commit back to my physical form in physical body these two vibrations if i'm not very very careful uh clash they clash now i've gotten a lot better at within the physical body being able to make that you know that range that I've got. My range is much, much bigger now than it was whenever I started these videos so that I don't put myself nearly as much at risk, which is, of course, one thing that you can do. But until you've done that, remember that there is a big gap. So when you go to to uh, heal someone else, for all of you healers, you're going to raise your vibration very high and you're going to do it suddenly. If you haven't healed yourself first if you haven't raised your physical body's vibration before you do the healing you too will come back into physical body after that experience of healing someone else and there'll be a big disconnect so you'll have all kinds of physical problems whatever your physical problems were before you healing someone else they will be exacerbated and it will also create other illnesses as well Frequently flu-like symptoms, uh, very, very, mm, very tired, very sleepy, a lot of aches and pains. You can have trouble with your vision, with your balance. Um, just anything that your body is physically prone to having problems with, after you do that, you will be susceptible to having, to triggering these problems. So be sure before you go to heal somebody that you go into a meditative state and you get your vibrations as high as you can, okay? Center yourself. Make sure that every part of your body is feeling good. Be sure and tell your physical body what you're getting ready to do, okay? Ask for its help. Ask for your crew around you. Ask them to give you a hand as well because they're more than willing to do so. But that's what's happening, guys. Okay, does that make sense? Hold on a second. Got a battery's dying here. So make sure that you raise your vibration in your physical body as much as you can before you go to heal someone else. Otherwise, you will have a problem in that regard. Okay? All right, and be sure and explain to the person you're healing what you're doing so you can help them learn to heal themselves as well. Okay? Huge hugs, guys. I love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.